everybody, it's Ryan here and today I will show you how to connect to VATSIM and how to use VATSIM um, for P3DV3. And I will also show you how to get um, model matching. Um, model matching is maybe the most difficult thing for um, everyone in uh, for VATSIM in P3DV3, but I'll show you how to do it. So first thing is you're going to need a VATSIM account, so if you don't have one, just go to their website and create one. I'll have all the links in the description. Um, and you're going to want to note down your pilot ID and all that stuff. Then you're going to want to download a program that actually allows you to connect um, to a VATSIM network when you're in the simulator. So um, the most popular and most trusted one is vPilot, so I highly recommend this. It works for F6, X-Plane and P3D. So I'll leave a link to that in the description too. Um, so once you're in vPilot, um, when the simulator is not running, prepare for the v3 is not running, um, you'll see stuff like that in the messages, attempting to connect to simulator and simulation connection fail. This is absolutely normal. And um, to configure it to be able to fly on VATSIM, you're going to want to go to settings, and you're going to um, make sure your general settings are as you want. Then you're going to go to network. You need to... Um, you need to really pay attention to this because this is really important. So this is your VATSIM pilot ID, VATSIM password, and here you're going to put your name. And this is your home airport, so I chose Manchester. And server, you can choose any server. It will not um, have any impact on your um, on your VATSIM experience. Performance, not display aircraft beyond, so you can set it as you wish. Maximum aircraft to display it says it does what it says so then you're going to apply this and then you're going to go to audio you're going to make sure your input and output devices are the correct one then you're going to calibrate your mic to make sure it's working and then here you're going to want to set a push to button so that um, when you have to talk to ATC you push that button and then they can hear you so set a push to talk button and then apply and okay then you want to come to this tab model matching which is probably the most um, important and most hard thing to get sorted out so model matching basically allows you to see other aircrafts um, connected to the VATSIM network so for F6 it's really easy You're, you just use the default F6 aircraft you take it, you um, download the rule and then you one, for every aircraft connected on the VATSIM network, you will see um, as AI traffic, you'll see a default F6 aircraft. But for P3D V3, it's much more complex. So if you have a payware add-on such as just flight 2005, my traffic 3D, my traffic 6, ultimate traffic 2, and all the stuff, it's really easy. You just um, just take it, you download the rule and all that, and you're ready to go. Um, but if you don't have any payware um, add-on, traffic add-on, your only solution is to use World of AI. Um, so World of AI is basically um, AI traffic for F6 P3D. Um, so um, to download the World of AI um, packages, you can go to their website. And instead of going to their website, because you'll have to download all of the packages which are in here, which they are more than 200 or 300 packages. So to download all of your packages in one go without wasting any time, there is a cool feature, a cool um, program called uh, World of AI uh, Downloader. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. So basically you're going to run World of AI Downloader. And here you're going to um, put your AVSIM username. You must have an AVSIM um, um account to be able to do this so you're going to put your AVSIM username your AVSIM password and then um, you're going to make sure you're, you're going to um, point a download a folder so I chose my documents um, so you can browse it and choose the um, download folder then you're going to take all of those and then you're going to download the packages so this will basically download all the um, AI packages so um, once this is done, go to the um, folder where you pointed the installers and you will see loads of zip files um, with all the installer. It should, it should start by WOA. Um, then to actually install this into your simulator, you are going to download this, which is WOAINS24, which is basically um, the installer for World of AI. So I'll leave to a link to that in the description. So you're going to open it and 
to make it work because this um, world of AI thing has a lot of errors so to make it work you're going to take all of your folders and you're going to drag it to your desktop and then you're going to have to run the world of AI installer as administrator so right click run as admin and this should come up so here you're going to press next and I see in the target there's no um, there's no um, PVD V3 so you're going to keep it as FX FS2004 and then you're going to select the world of air package to install so you're basically going to install all of them in one go so just take all of them like that then you press open then um, you're just going to leave that blank then you're going to press next I agree install and will basically install of all of your packages so I've already done that so I'm just going to end it and once you do that all of the um, AI packages should be installed and once they are installed um, you are going to go back to the palette model matching and in the um, available rule sets you're going to tick all of the world of AI um, world of AI things so world of AI US South America North America and all you're going to take all of them and then you're going to down the selected rule sets and it should come here same as I have them it should come here and then um, you have basically already configured the um, model matching for um, P3D um, for everything for VATSIM sorry so then you're going to apply and OK then you're going to run your actual P3D V3 simulator Okay, we're just waiting for it to load. So here we are in the simulator. So as you see in the palette, it says here it should say connected to simulator. This means it is working. Um, in your actual sim, you're going to select your aircraft. So I've selected a uh, PMDG triple seven. You're going to go to the airport you want. So let's say I want to go to um, Heathrow. I'm going to press EGLL and you really have to spawn at a gate. If you don't spawn at a gate, um, you have a higher risk of getting banned on VATSIM because um, they will think that you are um, you are just trolls and all that so make sure you, sh you spawn at a gate. Okay and then you can select any time of a day that you want so I just select daytime then you're going to launch um, your actual P3D. Then you're going to keep an eye, oh sorry yeah, you're going to keep an eye on um, your V pilot. So I just got an error because I did something with the uh, DLL.xml file, but you won't get any uh, errors. So you're going to keep an eye on your V pilot. Okay, um, it should say it should still say connected to simulator. So we're just waiting it to load here. simulator has loaded uh, you will see in your V palette that the connect button here at the top left corner is now available to click so you're going to press on connect and then here you're going to put your call sign so I'll put my call sign as air or soul one okay then you're going to press connect and there should be all this thing and now on the um, left corner here um, so I, I'm getting those errors actually because I did not um, install all of the World of AI packages. So this is why it's really important to install all the World of AI packages. So be sure to install all of the World of AI packages otherwise you'll get these errors that I'm getting right now. So on the left corner here you can see um, center approach tower ground. These are the actual um, ATCs that are available. So right now there is um, ENOS Center on 118.870. So you're going to go to your, um, if you are in the center of ENOS, you're going to go to your pedestal and tune in the frequency which is shown in VPAL, which is 118.870. And then you should hear a beeping sound, which means you're connected to the simulator. And then when you need to speak to the ATC, you're just going to press on your push to talk button and you can speak to him. And you're going to do same for all the other things. So let's say you want to connect to ground. You go back to your pedestal, 1 to 1.8. And then you should hear a beeping sound. And again, um, it means you're connected to um, a network where there's ATC. 
and yeah you just push your push to talk button and then you can um, actually talk to the ATC so I hope this video was useful sorry um, if I was a bit you know because um, I'm quite tired but I hope it was useful and if it was please make sure to give it a like um, and subscribe if you want more tutorials and um, P3D videos and um, if you if you know any of your friends who are having trouble with um, that sim for um, for P3D V3 just make sure to share this video to them and help them out so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. See ya.